You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Shanghai residents expressed their growing sense of anticipation as authorities on Tuesday, 31st May, began dismantling fences around housing compounds and ripping police tape off public squares and buildings to the relief of the city's 25 million residents before a painful two-month lockdown is lifted at midnight. Shanghai on Tuesday announced a plan to fully restore social production and life order in an orderly manner by June as the financial hub of China has basically brought under control the latest COVID-19 resurgence that broke out in early March. The daily increase in the number of COVID-19 cases in Shanghai has slipped to two digits numbers, with 29 new cases reported on Monday, said Zhong. More residents in Shanghai, a mega city of 25 million people, are now living in areas with east restrictions as the impact of COVID-19 in the mega city is waning. Up to now, the population under closed-off management has dropped to less than 200,000, and that is the prevention areas has increased to more than 22 million. The epidemic has been effectively brought under control, and the anti-epidemic situation has continued to improve, said Zhang. Shanghai plans to fully restore social production and life order from June 1st. Before that, we have already carried out relevant stress tests in three districts of Fangxian, Shengshan, and Xiongming, she said. Following two months of frustration, despair, and economic loss, Shanghai's residents were seen on Wednesday, 1st June, buying groceries, picking out fruits, and engaging in chit-chats. Fences come down as Shanghai residents anticipate the end of lockdown at midnight. Most of Shanghai's 25 million residents can now freely leave home, return to work, use public transport, and drive their cars, a moment that for many in China's largest and most cosmopolitan city felt like it would never arrive. On Monday evening, some of the people allowed other their compounds for brief walks, strolled along commercial streets lined with malls, and shopped for groceries from local markets as a sense of anticipation for the long-awaited resumption grew among residents. Holding bags of vegetables, an elderly local who only gave her surname as Wang told Rhodes that she had not stepped out of her home for two months. Finally at ease, I stayed at home all day and never went out. I felt sloppy, she said. Shanghai's oil deal has come to symbolize what critics say is the unsustainability of China's adherence to a zero-COVID policy that aims to cut off every infection chain at any cost, even as much of the world tries to return to normal despite ongoing infections. One of those allowed out of their compounds for brief strolls while walking her dog for the first time since the lockdown began. Many business owners were seen tidying up and cleaning their shops in preparation for businesses to resume on Wednesday. Workers installed colorful I Love Shanghai banners at a commercial district outside large shopping malls as people looked on. Yet not everyone shared the same excitement despite the buzz in the city ahead of the reopening. To be honest, I don't feel anything right now because there's nothing available so I can only take a walk on the street. I don't feel any particular sense of freedom either. 22-year-old Li Yian said the prolonged isolation has fueled public anger and rare protest tests inside Shanghai and battered the city's manufacturing and export-heavy economy, disrupting supply chains in China and around the world, and slowing international trade.